Well, it's been a wonderful afternoon of racing here, pacing for pink. I caught up with Bella Armstrong, fundraising manager for the McGrath Foundation, to have a chat about how big a success it has been. Well, Bella, great to catch up with you. How have you enjoyed your first experience at Club and Angle? I'm having an absolutely fantastic time here today. I'm sat on a table with a group of lovely, lovely people, um, and everyone just looks like they're having a really fun day and eating lots, betting lots. So, yeah, it's great. Yeah, that's one thing that's coming across here at the Pacing for Pink at Club and Angle. All the ladies, and there's some gentlemen mixed in there as well, but all the ladies should be having a wonderful day, and they are enjoying having a bet or two, and that food looks outstanding. The food is delicious, I can't say that enough. Um, yeah, everyone's having a really good time, so I'm very pleased to be here. Bella, being able to combine harness racing with the fun racing, it just seems to be an ideal mixture. Yeah, it is. It's good. I mean, we've got people in pink pants. Um, we've got the message being spread about the McGrath Foundation here. Everyone's dressed in pink, so the messages are coming through very well. And um, it's great being able to combine two things that may not have very much in common, but seem to fall very, very closely together. Numbers are around 200, which is outstanding success. And I know in future years, hopefully this will become an annual event. It'll just get bigger and bigger. Yeah. Bigger and bigger is all we can hope for. <laughs> yeah, so um, I think we see that we have events all across Australia at the moment for under this Pacing for Pink campaign, which is incredible because this all started um, just with one event locally and has grown to a national campaign. So it's honestly, we couldn't ask for anything more. Would you ever envisage being able to combine harness racing with all the family involvements, and, and some of them are going through very tough times at the moment with friends and relatives suffering from breast cancer. So it is a wonderful mixture there, but could you ever imagine it be such a success? I don't think so, probably not Not in our wildest dreams, not compared to the success that we're now seeing. Um, this year, the, the fundraising is going to exceed $100,000 with the Pacing for Pink campaign, which is absolutely unbelievable. So, no, I don't think that we would have ever imagined this kind of success, but we're very, very glad that we, we've seen it. Bella, we're having a lot of fun here today. The ladies are having a bet and there's a lot of singing and stories being told, but there is an underlying factor, a very important one, and that is the money being raised for the nurses for the McGrath Foundation. Yeah, so um, we're all here raising money for the McGrath Foundation, which funds McGrath Breast Care Nurses. At the moment, we're very proud to say that we have 185 nurses across Australia funded, um, but we're working towards our goal of 250 nurses by 2025, and slowly meeting the need um, so that everyone in Australia has access to a McGrath Breast Care Nurse for free. And of course, through Glenn McGrath, through the tragedy of losing his wife, this has become very important, very close to a lot of people's hearts in this country. Yeah, it has. I think that um, everyone feels a, a big connection to their story because it was such a, you know, he's such a public figure um, and Glenn has taken what Jane started and just um, done unbelievable things with it. So I couldn't be prouder to work for the foundation as well. I think that it's a really beautiful story and um, very, very nice the way that it was built. Of course, what's that out in cricket as far as the awareness through Glenn is now spread throughout all sports. Yeah, it's unbelievable. We have um, something called, uh, we have like socks that people can purchase on our merchandise store and we see clubs from footy, um, basketball, cricket, every kind of sport wearing these pink socks to support the McGrath Foundation. So it definitely has exploded well and truly out of cricket. You should also be pleased with the number of sponsors that have jumped on board today's program. Yeah, absolutely. We're thankful for everyone's involvement, so couldn't do it without the community and the sponsors. Well, congratulations on the hard work you do, and hopefully we see you a lot more at Club Angle enjoying these wonderful facilities. Absolutely. If you'll have me every year, I'll be here. <laughs>